Hello and welcome back in the life of the amphibians. I am Ella and behind the camera is my unnamed Australian white street frog. I'm having trouble naming her so comment down below what you think I should name them. Um, I also have another one so put in extra names. Um, uh, this video is five myths about Australian white street frogs. The first myth um, of Australian white tree frogs is that um, they are stupid. They are incredibly intelligent. They're like the dogs of the amphibian world. They're able to learn tricks, commands, and their names. Like mine over here, um, not my new ones, but my um, the ones I've had for quite a while now, um, uh, have learned their names. Uh, I'm not going to call them out now because or else they're going to start going crazy. So, But um, they're very intelligent and smart animals. They're th um, one of the most intelligent f um, frogs of the amphibian world. So, yeah. Myth two. They, people say that you can, you don't have to, wash your hands all you need to do is sanitize your hands before f touching them no 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 are you kidding me no so the toxins in um uh sanitizer um are incredibly harmful to frog skin and can talk and can cause burns and chemical burns, especially on their skin, because th their skin is incredibly sensitive. So what I recommend is, um, especially Dawn dish soap, um, they have removed some toxins, so it's safe to use on any animal, including frogs. Um, but, uh, so I recommend using Dawn dish soap, um, to wash your hands um, uh, and then get it off after 20, I mean, not 20, um, uh, three, after singing three happy birthday songs. Um, and uh, then it will be pretty safe for them to uh, it'll be pretty safe for them not to get anti-burns. Just make sure you wash it off. Even if you don't fully wash off Dawn dish soap, it won't harm them, but it's still good to get it off. And if you're using regular soap, make sure you wash it off for four happy birthday songs. Fact three. The, this fact is, how do you say, I'm not, I'm, I don't like this fact at all. Not as much as the calling them stupid, but like, I hate this one very much. Some frog owners are not safe, like don't feel safe holding their own frogs without gloves. And some don't even, like don't even hold them. So, As long as um, you are being safe with them, um, and you, um, and as long as you are um, washing your hands completely and washing all the soap off completely, then it is perfectly fine to use your bare hands, just like I'm doing here. The um, for these types of frogs, you don't need to have any. Um, uh, gloves on especially because um, because it's hard for um, they have thicker skin than most frogs and it's not as sensitive I still recommend Dawn dish soap but um, the salt the natural salt from your skin will not harm them um, so just so you know anyone who's like about not like with holding frogs without gloves just needed to tell you that okay the one of the other myths is that 
they can't connect to one person or any person but yes they can yes they can i like i'm spending buddy time with me and my new frog right now um and uh usually i spend time with my other frogs too even if they're already connected to me you know what i mean so it's it's always great like even five minutes that's plenty they they love they love their attention especially and they love to jump around and play so um you should always make sure you're giving them love because these guys need attention um because if they don't get attention they will get depressed um uh so they always need love so just make sure you give your australian white tree frog love if you have one the fifth myth is that some people think that they don't have their unique how do i say their unique traits australian white tree frogs especially they they all have different patterns they all have something different about them they all have different colored eyes they all have different shaped bodies they they are all different in their own unique ways and have on it like they have personalities and you wouldn't think that for a frog but they have personalities yeah each one has their own personality like one of my frogs um chandler he loves to be on the ground he buries inside he loves to just like chill um like on my shoulder most of the time um uh my squirt she loves to play but she's so cuddly um uh she sleeps most of the time in her cage but whenever she wants out she um uh she jumps on the door to get out and once i let her out she, she's just a little cuddle buddy so they have very special traits thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe um and turn on that bell to turn on notifications so that you don't miss another video of the cute little amphibians don't forget to comment what i should name my two new australian white tree frogs and i'll see you on the next one